This guy here wants to say that the Community Shield is a pointless game, but I don't, mate. This is the FA Community Shield, supported by McDonald's. This is a huge game. It's the Charity Shield, guys. <laughs> so it's a big, it's not huge, but it's a good game. What do you think of Man United today? I thought it was shite, to be honest. I oh, thought wow, was, okay. Was, um, if you want to be real technical, there was, there was a lot of a hangover, I thought, of Lou Van Gaal's team. Yeah. Um, I thought there was a slight improvement in the final third in terms of um, penetration, mm -hmm. but some of the build-up play was very, very, very Van Gaal reminiscent, and uh, some of that could have been down to team selection, to be brutally honest. Why we went... I mean, we said it in the, in the live pre-match. Uh, pre when you play Fellaini and you play Carrick, what are you looking at happening in a Leicester side? Leicester attack with... The, the only thing they've got is pace, Leicester, isn't it, really? They don't, they're not a beautiful football inside. They're not going to overpower you with, with strength and with, with massive players. Their big threat is pace, and you play... And he must have known that. This is Jose Mourinho. I thought this guy's the most prepared manager in the world. I thought that was what he obsesses over. Well, he plays Carrick and Fellaini, and the only reason I can think that he played both of them is because both of them haven't had as many minutes as maybe some other midfielders yeah. in the side. Otherwise, there is no excuse that you go with both of those two, and... I'd bag on Fellaini quite a lot, and then today I thought that was very justified. He didn't do anything with the ball, apart from lay Jamie Vardy in with the best passer that he played all game. And we can make jokes about that, but like, he, he, how many times... Is he going to do it in the Premier League as well if he does it in a big game? He figuratively and literally scores own goals all over the pitch with his fouls that he gives away and his positioning, and, and he's, he's just unintelligent passing. Carrick didn't cover himself in glory today. I thought, essentially, the three midfielders, and I include Rooney in that as well, did not cover themselves in glory today. I, I, I thought Rooney looked a little bit disjointed. Zlatan was quiet until he scored his goal. Rashford came on and, uh, and did what Rashford has always done, which is yeah. get the ball, be direct, and terrify teams, yeah. winning corners, putting defenders on the back foot. And he's proving me wrong all the time. I obviously saw a lot of him in the academy, and I always thought he lacks composure. And I've wondered where the ceiling is with Rashford. But every time I see him, he keeps, prov he keep, irony, yeah, he keeps pushing it forward. Yeah. Like it, it, He does very, very little wrong. And when a player's not doing much wrong, that's you've got to look at not just what a player does right, but the mistakes a player makes. Yeah, yeah, every yeah. player makes mistakes, but the, he makes so few mistakes. Marshall was very quiet. I thought mm. Rashford was better than him when he came on. Yeah. Um, obviously, there was a little bit of people kicking off of what happened with Mata, but I've seen another video just a second ago there where Mata and Jose are having a laugh, yeah. which looks like after he subbed him off. So I don't know what's gone on there, so I won't comment on what's gone on there. Um, Eric Bay, very aggressive, might be too aggressive. Man of the match, he was our man of the match in the voting and he was just put up on the screen here behind us. In fact, it might go up on there in a minute, actually. Yeah. Um, as the official man of the match, I've got no argument with that, but I do worry that sometimes with a better team, mm. is he going to get caught up I, a bit? When know, we have a bit more possession in a bit more areas, if he's the one that's going to be get caught uh, as we hit, we, we hit on a break. There's, there's things to fix, but there's the players there to fix them. And yeah. obviously the news that we got one hour before kickoff. We, we can't not mention the news that we got one hour before kickoff, can we? Paul Pogba. The news that seven weeks ago, I laughed at, said he's going Madrid. What are you talking about? Didn't think it was going to happen at all. And then it just started stacking up, didn't it? All the evidence kept going in the he's going to Man United file. None of it was going in the he's going to Real Madrid file or he's going to Barcelona. I mean, I laughed it off because I heard that he bought a house in Barcelona like yeah. February or March time. I was yeah. like, well, he's obviously going to Barcelona. ITK sources. Yeah, obviously don't believe all them. <laughs> I think that sort of kept piling up in that he's going to Man yeah, United yeah. draw. And then there was a couple of players around Manchester basically telling everyone that he, he was signing. Don't tell their names, but it's <laughs> happened basically. That's all that matters. Now, what you said about the game, there's bits I agree with, a few bits that I disagree with. You said that it was absolute shite. I thought it was. Personally, I think there was a lot of times in that game where we had the ball and I'm expecting us to go sideways and I'm expecting us to go backwards just because that's what I've seen over the past two years. And I've actually seen us go forwards and it's, it's almost surprised me. It's almost surprised me a little bit. Well, yeah, we did. I feel, I feel like we did when we needed to. And I feel like... I feel like it was a little bit better. It was a little bit more professional and individually, oh, some of the performances out there. I don't mean the performance was shy. I mean the game was shy. Right, I okay. thought it was a very flat game. I thought the performance was pretty professional. And even when Fellaini played Vardy in, I wasn't nervous that we wasn't going to win this game. I thought we was always going to win this game. I'm just saying the game, the atmosphere in the stadium, it's pre-season friendly at Wembley and that's exactly what it felt like. I thought the atmosphere and the match itself was kind of shy. I thought the performance was pretty professional and, and could have been better, like a C out, no. If I'm grading it, I'm giving it a C. It wasn't amazing. There was a couple of decent performances. I'm not mentioning Jesse Lingard. I've not even seen a replay of that goal. But in my head, he beat about 47 players, I think, I think to score did, that yeah. goal. It was, it was, was it at least 47 players so. and a linesman, to put it away. <laughs> so, 
I mean, Jesse loves Wembley, don't they? I mean, I think I think the rules of Wembley is if you score another goal consecutively, they'd have to rename it. They're going to take Bobby Moore's statue down. It's going to be Jesse Lingard. At least Wembley way. Jesse way. Yeah, Jesse way. We'll have that. So. I like that, yeah. Have that. Nice one, mate. Cheers.